on this somber occasion, I'm sure everyone's heard the uh, the bad news. The Russian Russian court is uh, continuing with its persecution of an innocent woman, falsely accused, falsely convicted now, and uh, God knows uh, how harsh the sentence will probably be tomorrow. They're talking about 24 years. It hurts. It's shocking. We're outraged, and that's why we're out here today, to raise awareness in front of the Toronto community, in front of our friends and neighbors, and here, symbolically, in front of the Russian consulate. Ми сьогодні хочемо вкотре привернути увагу, увагу громадськості, в даному випадку громадськості Канади, але ці акти по цілому світу, а значить громадськості цілого світу, до, до, до тих дій не, неправомірних, несправедливих, жорстоких, до яких вдається Росія супроти українських громадян. Разом, цілим світом, ми допоможемо здобути їм волю. Дякую. Надя Савченко для мене, вона представляє для багатьох з нас, but now Pristav Laya, the best of what Ukraine has to offer, Nadia Savchenko. Her courage, her courage and her continuous and unending commitment to a free and independent Ukraine, not just as someone who fought for Ukraine, but as someone who from her jail cell uh, continues to fight for Ukraine. We've seen the intervention of, of Russia into Ukraine over the years. We've seen through the Orange Revolution, we've seen it through Yoramaidan, we've seen it through the annexation of Crimea, through the invasion of Eastern Ukraine by Russian-backed forces and Russian forces. And Nadia Savchenko is one of many, many, many brave young people who is fighting for Ukraine today. Це важливо для України, бо зупинити російську агресію, визволити українських політв'язнів, котрі зовсім ні за що тримаються в Росії, підтримати нашу батьківщину. Я думаю, що це зовсім несправедливий суд і давним-давно та людина, котра нічого не зробила поганого, повинна бути на волі і бути назад на своїй батьківщині. I'm here um, because I support all of these people. I support the Ukrainian community in uh, in Canada, and uh, we need to make sure that Nadia is free. I mean, the situation there is uh, is awful um, with with all of the hostages that the, the Putin regime has taken, including uh, an Estonian official uh, back in May. Um, so the Ukrainians aren't alone, um, and we all need to stand together as the Central Eastern European communities and and make sure that uh, Putin doesn't continue on with his aggression and and fight. Ladies and gentlemen, Nagia Saushenko is more than just a political prisoner. As a woman, she's come to symbolize the spirit of strength and a crusade for justice and freedom. But ladies and gentlemen, it's not enough for you and I to stand in, here in front of the Russian consulate and to demand her release. The entire international community needs to stand in defense of Nagia and everyone else who has been imprisoned by Putin's very, very corrupt regime. Nadia's life is just as important as the girls threatened by the Taliban in Afghanistan, or the women Syrian refugees, or for those other women in conflict zones all over the world, whether it's in the Sudan or other countries. Her life is no less important. I question today, where are all of the feminists? Where are all of the leading voices of women's organizations around the world, not just Ukrainian Canadian organizations or North American organizations, but international organizations that should be standing up for her? They should be raising their voices. Where are all of these activists on the international stage? I think each and every one of us call upon those UN special envoys like Angelina Jolie or George and Amal Clooney or rock stars like Bono and Sting. They should all be fighting for Nagia. And we also call upon all those high profile Canadian women in politics to stand up for Nagia. Every Canadian woman engaged in politics should be standing up and voicing their concern and demanding her release. That's why we call upon the Prime Minister's wife, Sophie Gregoire, and the leader of the opposition, 
Rona Ambrose, these women should join together and stand up to defend Nagia. Thank you for coming over for this very important cause. So on behalf of Euromaidan Canada and other Ukrainian organizations here in Toronto, so it's really glad to see that many of you are supporting this very, very important cause because Nadia Savchenko, is, is a, she's a true hero and she's a role model for pretty much all of us, how we can stay strong, how we can fight and pretty much how we can even fight alone the regime which has all these resources to really oppress people and to, to, for this propaganda. One of the ma main things that you can do is con to continue and pressure not only your politicians, which is obviously very important, everybody should be calling their MP and asking where they stand on this issue. Have they brought it up in front of parliament? One phone call, if they get one phone call, it's not going to make a difference. But if they get 50, 200, 500 phone calls in a day, believe you me, they notice it. But likewise, the same thing in the press rooms. The press rooms, if they start getting lots of calls as to why there is no coverage on this particular issue, and I look before coming out tonight, it was one of the headline stories on Google. So the more times you hit it, but it works the same way in the newsrooms. If you call tomorrow and you don't see any reporting on, uh, let's say, the CTV National News, you didn't see anything on it, call them up and say, why wasn't this covered? This is an international event. Uh, President Obama brought it up in a discussion with Putin apparently last week. Very, few, very little reporting on it. So please, call your MPs, call your uh, radio and TV stations. We have another year of the Moscow. По обороні надії. По англійськи кажеться three is the charm. Третій раз, що по три, знаєте, так іде. Дай Боже, що в третій рік, до наступного разу, до третього року, і навіть скорше, що вона тут буде, і нам подяки за нашу підтримку, за те, що ми за ню і за нашу Україну, і за всіх, хто обстоюють гідність життя в Україні, не забуваємо. Вона має добре ім'я, надія. Нехай та надія буде в наших серцях і в наших молитвах. Дай Боже. Дякую.